Hi, I'm Sue Lana, Clinical Oncology Service Chief. I'd like to give you a overview of what happens with our chemotherapy treatments, sort of a behind the scenes look. Chemotherapy is a systemic treatment for cancer. It's different from surgery or radiation, which are more localized treatments. Sometimes we're aiming for primary cancer, sometimes for uh, anticipated or confirmed spread of disease. Each protocol is personalized to the patient and is sometimes used alone or in combination with other treatments like surgery or radiation. So let's take a look at the process. One of our favorite golden retrievers, Louie, has volunteered to show you what it all looks like. This is the first time we had an experience in all the Goldens that we've owned over the years to uh, have chemo as a therapy. So this is not something we were used to or understood. We go get them from the parking lot now, obviously due to COVID versus, you know, our lobby as it typically is. Are you ready? So once we get our patients and we bring them into the lobby, we will do uh, a complete blood count or a CBC. Um, and that facial team measures like our white blood cell counts, our red blood cell counts, and kind of all of that whole cell line. And that determines whether or not they are healthy enough to receive chemotherapy that day. Yeah. Once we have the chemotherapy, they come into our wonderful chemo room. They jump up on what we call the couch. Uh, most dogs understand couch versus table. It is hydroed, uh, so it lifts and power lifts for us, so we don't have to do the heavy lifting. We then set a catheter, which is probably one of the most important parts about chemotherapy, is our catheters have to be perfect. You get one shot per vein in the 48 hour period. So if we miss or we don't get it seated quite right, we have to stop what we're doing, either go to a different vein or have the patient come back a different day. And then once that's in, honestly, most of our chemos are fairly quick. Um, they range anywhere from a quick push that takes two seconds to a four hour long infusion, uh, where we have to sit by that animal side the entire four hours. So it kind of depends on what we're treating, how far along they are in the treatment, and that you know determines what we're gonna give them. And then once the chemo's in, if they're going to have a reaction, they usually have it like while we're doing it. So while they're on our table, while the nurses have their hands on them and reactions you know, are usually fairly minimal. It's like an allergic reaction. So they might get hives. They might be breathing a little bit harder, but most dogs tolerate it extremely well. They get peanut butter and cookies and anything that we can to kind of make them more comfortable while they're on the couch so that they actually enjoy coming here and seeing this and this is this is their safe zone. As you can see, a lot of love goes into giving our patients chemotherapy. Thank you for your continued trust in what we do. We just couldn't do any of this without you. So um we finished his his treatment today. So yay! I absolutely am so pleased we went this route. We, we get Louis for whatever. How much Today. longer? <laughs> we have him today.